am Carrie Farinac, and I am joined now by Eve Rossi, better known as Jetman, right? Yes. <laughs> And Mr. Rossi has created a series of experimental jetpacks, and you've probably seen him in the news. I'm sure you've seen what he's doing. We're so excited to have you here on NBA Live Thank TV. You. Thank you. Thank all you. right, first of all, tell us about this project, right? Where did the idea for the jetpack come from? It came when I was already a professional aviator as a former fighter pilot and uh, airline pilot. So I knew how beautiful beautiful it is to fly, but uh, we are flying in an airplane, it's kind of a box. Mm -hmm. And when I was 30, I did discover skydiving, free fall. Interesting. That means you are completely free of your move, mm -hmm. and you have the impression that you fly with right. your body, because you don't see the, the ground coming to you like that. You are so high that really you, you float, you fly, like in the dream. Right, right. So the basic idea of the project came, okay, Keep that pure f and beautiful feeling of freedom mm -hmm. in free fall, but mm -hmm. stop the fall, fly, yeah. change the vector, and, and fly longer. So instead so, of going down, go forward. Exactly. That Incredible. was the, the basic idea about 27 years ago. Wow. And I know we have a picture of you with the jetpack, right? Okay. Tell us a little bit about most recently when you crossed the English Channel. Uh, that was uh, really... Uh, a great moment because uh, the prototype was not as good as the one I have now, so oh, wow. it was a little bit more uh, unstable, okay. so it was a little bit more challenging than mm -hmm. now, and it, it was also the first big event and live event. You can imagine, the pressure. You, you are from TV, yes. you know, the old National Geographic Network right. was live yes. looking at that and uh, so pressure, you know? Right, right. And uh, the flying part finally uh, was easy, mm -hmm. but lucky me the first day, it was not good weather. That means everything was ready. We did load the wing in the airplanes right. that dropped me to go to the other side. And uh, just uh, before to go, I had a call from the other side, from uh, right. Dover, hey, there is a, kind of a thunderstorm coming. Oh no. And I did ask the, the weather guy, yeah, you have 20 minutes to be on the other side. Afterwards, we, wow. we will have rain. That's crazy. So it was kind of easy to say, forget it. Stop. We, right. we, we, ha we will have better, uh, uh, better weather tomorrow. Right. Let's right. try tomorrow again. Okay. Wow. And at this occasion, because that's what I've learned, you know, I was so under tension and I was with my friends, with my team, uh -huh. and I was completely in the e ego. I, mm -hmm. Yves Rossi, myself, mm -hmm. <laughs> want to go on the other side right. to prove to me and to everybody. everybody that I am able to do that. Right. But being in such a spirit of mind, I was uh, nervous, angry, mm -hmm. And really, my friends, uh, they told me, hey, today it was not fun. Right, you right. You know, you, right. you are not the, the guy that we know. It was really not fun. Stop, stop to be like that. So they put you kind of yeah, in your yeah. place, And it will. was good because I've learned, I, I, I could uh, uh, work on, on these remarks of my friends. Interesting. During the night. And right. the next morning, I, I did wake up and I, I thought, yeah. That's exactly the good opportunity to say, we will go to the other side. Uh, you know, with nation, yeah, national network. Yeah. So share, take right. everyone, with you. everybody with you on the wings, mm -hmm. and we will go to the other side. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it was afterwards, I, I was light in my mind, light in flight. Right. And in less than 10 minutes, I was to the wow. other side and with a lot of fun with my friends. Absolutely. So that's what I've learned So it there. worked out. Yeah. So tell us some of the details. I know folks watching are, are really professional aviators, right? So how, how high up were you? How fast were you going? Give us yeah. some of the details. Currently, I still need an airplane or a helicopter to be dropped. Okay. That means uh, generally I dropped at uh, 1,200 meters. That okay. means uh, 4,000 feet. Okay. Okay, from the ground. So first, I, I am a stone. I mm -hmm. have to wait to have consistency in the air. That means mm -hmm. speed. Huh? Mm -hmm. Here, there is nothing. Uh, 
wow. out of the, uh, your car window you feel eh, how it becomes sure. consistent so I have to wait to fall a little bit and as soon as the air is a little bit consistent I increase the, the power I start my engines on the sled of the okay. helicopter right and then okay you have to let go let fall and wow. then suddenly that's the magic moment where that you transform from a stone to to a bird right okay speed speed increase the power and you feel and art and suddenly and there you are then you're and, flying like and a bird you, yeah exactly wow. only with my body moves that's Incredible. the big uh, difference in an airplane you have a stick you have pedals you do a move mm -hmm. that moves aileron that right. moves the machine you are in the machine and you follow the machine right okay this there's no but machine me, I you am the, the machine, machine. Wow. and that's that was that's what makes the big difference right you are like the kid playing the airplane that's like, and now you're like doing a bird it. yes yeah. yes so incredible. It, sometimes I have to pitch myself right. it's, it's completely unreal so tell me this when we look out to the future do you see this as, a, as becoming a common thing or what do you what do you see when you look ahead no, with this invention? Cle clearly not like that right air taxis that you can see in that exhibition sure. are much more comfortable sure sure okay because instead of this, an uber not a jetpack <laughs> i don't not. think perhaps okay. you know what i see perhaps you have seen the video during the presentation this morning when you fly around the clouds uh -huh. like that, because it's very powerful, huh? you, ca you can climb around the clouds God, that's amazing easy like that. So of. you have no limits. Right. Okay, you are, right. it's kind of a fighter jet, mm -hmm. but that's you. Okay, Incredible. so it's extremely good. It's kind of an ultimate flight experience. Mm -hmm. But to go to the office in the morning, every morning with that, and okay, to, you know, to hold your <laughs> you your, hold your, briefcase? <laughs> your briefcase at at 200 miles per hour, you know, it it disturbs. It's I not so good. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. So <laughs> and true. then to read the newspaper and so right. it's, I don't think. But as a leisure thing, yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, to compare, we have a company here, Bombardier. They are doing uh, mm -hmm. airplanes, sure. huh, very well known, sure. and also jet skis. Uh -huh. And jet skis is a good business. Yes. So it could be the jet ski of the air. Oh, Leisure, well said. You see? And Interesting. The same as uh, now you have people who are learning paragliding, right. hang gliding. You, sure. you need a little physical, personal investment, sure. wow, a little bit true. of time, two or three weeks, one month, right. to learn it. Just like jet skiing or paragliding or any of those, Exactly. Right? It's not yeah. just like that, but it's, it's learnable. Right. And that's where I want to go. Make something that is autonomous from the ground. I'm working on that, stabilization right. and, so, and so. So that it is not for my grandmother, <laughs> but for everybody who has interest to, to live that fantastic experience, that right. freedom that third dimension freedom the vertical yeah. you know it it's not amazing. anymore like that it's as fair as a playground mm -hmm. and it's just good so i'm so curious what your wife thinks about all of this um, she loves me i mm -hmm. love her mm -hmm. she trusts me i trust her mm -hmm. that's it that's all you need right yes and she knows that you're an aviator yeah as a professional prof she knows that i have a background that i'm not a bonsai you know right. I, 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 right. I love life, I, I want to stay alive, mm -hmm. and when I have a doubt, I don't go, right. okay? Smart. I prepare everything before, mm -hmm. and also I'm, I'm the guy who is um, easily afraid. When, ah. si you know, I'm not the guy, Probably okay, makes you safer. Yeah, go, right. you know? If I have a doubt, oh, wait, I, I have first to find a solution that I feel good. Right. Okay? And, yeah. If I have a knot in my stomach, I don't go. It's interesting because people who see only you on the news flying next to an A380, it's they crazy. might think that you're the gutsiest guy around, yeah. but really uh, you're cautious. Yeah, yeah, a lot. It's interesting. That's why I'm still alive. For sure, yeah. for sure. And uh, we have only one life, so take Our care. one precious life, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. It was a pleasure, and I, and I know the folks that really enjoyed it during the, uh, the keynote as well.